Hi everyone, so uh, here we're going to be proving uh, that the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. And uh, for this, uh, we're going to need to, to trace uh, two diagonals here. So I'm going to start off with, uh, uh, of course, what you see here is a rhombus. Remember that rhombus is a parallelogram with four congruent sides. So right now, uh, uh, this parallelogram, uh, A, B, C, D, I, I named it like that to be creative. Uh, hold on, let, let me exchange the place of D for C. Uh, this one's C and the other one is going to be uh, uh, D. So, uh, we're going to have uh, here uh, two diagonals. Again, diagonals are segments uh, uh, that join two non-consecutive vertices. So in this case, uh, AC is a diagonal, and then you can trace uh, a segment BD, and you have the second diagonal. So uh, once we have the diagonal, notice that they they end up intersecting, and uh, we we are gonna name that uh, uh, in a really very creative way. That point of intersection is gonna be called a uh, point E. There. So uh. -huh. Right now, what we need to prove is that, uh, well, that the angles inside this this uh, parallelogram, this parallelogram called rhombus, which has four congruent sides, so these four sides are congruent. That is, that uh, these angles in the middle here uh, are gonna end up being uh, right angles, uh, because uh, if the angles are per perpendicular, then we're gonna have. Uh, uh, segments that end up uh, end up forming right angles there. So uh, for that, we start with with the given information. We know that that uh, we have uh, four congruent sides, and then uh, if you recall, one of the properties of parallelograms is that the diagonals bisect each other. So in this case, uh, this side here is going to be congruent. Uh, let me mark it here. Uh, is going to be congruent to this other one uh, because E is a midpoint there and then this other side here is going to be congruent to this one uh, and uh, if you notice here uh, well we have this small triangle 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 A B C D well A B E A B C D is uh, the whole parallelogram so triangle A B E Uh, when you compare it to triangle uh, CEB or CBE with triangle CBE, you're going to see that, well, first off, we have that uh, this side is congruent to this other one. So we have one pair of congruent sides there. Uh, we have that uh, because of this is a rhombus, then this other side, side AB, is congruent to side BC. And then this segment BE is equal to itself. So we have two triangles there that have three pairs of sides that are congruent. And uh, recalling back on the congruence postulates, uh, this means that we have side, side, side. So uh, if we have side, 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 then that means that these two triangles here are going to be congruent. So these two are congruent. Oh, uh, that, that, uh, that came out the really not nice but that's the congruency uh, symbol so the same is gonna happen for the other uh, triangles here all of them are gonna be congruent by SSS and what happens here is that once you have that all are congruent then these angles in the middle uh, angle AEB let's say that it measures X well, if this angle measures x, then this other angle here, angle E, uh, uh, B, E, C, 
it's gonna measure x because you have two congruent triangles. So uh, 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 the corresponding angles are gonna end up being uh, con uh, congruent. And uh, likewise, it's gonna happen with the other with the other um, uh, angles. Uh, once you prove that the other uh, triangles are congruent, so uh, here uh, it's gonna be enough with with a pair here. So uh, straight all straight angles uh, add up to 180 degrees. So we have here a linear pair, and what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna add uh, those two values there, uh, the measurement of angle. Uh, a A E B plus the measurement of angle C E B and that's gonna be equal to 180 degrees but when you uh, replace those measures by it, their corresponding lengths X and X you get that X plus X uh, that equal symbol came out uh, really not nice X plus X equals 180 degrees or 2x equals uh, 180 degrees because we have like terms here. I remember that this is like having 1x plus 1x, so it's 2x. And then uh, you divide uh, here by 2 to cancel out the 2. And what you do to one side, you repeat on the other. And then x equals uh, 90, meaning that each one of these angles measure 90 degrees. So there you have it. Uh, if you have that all right angles here end up measuring the same, then uh, the diagonals are perpendicular. And uh, again, the structure that holds this is uh, that every time that you make a parallelogram with uh, uh, four congruent sides, you're going to end up having uh, four smaller congruent triangles always. And uh, those triangles uh, are going to be corresponding to each other. So there, there you have it. There's a logical structure that, that holds this theorem.